Jumbo. Good morning, good afternoon. Today is Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. Here at First Community Infant Institute Incorporated in the South Wedge, where dog trees practice and observe. I'm Susan Mon, only your hostess. I welcome you to First Student Dog Tree Hour. Last gone on this week since we last met. Real County Board elections, county absentee ballots this week. Um, Congressman Morelli has won a second term in the 20th Congressional District. Harry Bronson won another term as the 138th City Assembly District. The last time we spoke about um, the race for State Senator Robux seat, who's retiring. And um, we talked about how the count, the um, in person count was very close between Jeremy Cooney and Mark Berry. The FC ballots put Cooney over the top, and he is, he is now the winner of that race. He um, ran 2018, he didn't make it. He made it this time around. Congratulations. Jeremy Cooney, who will be our new, new state set in the 56th state district. Also, a sister, a, a newcomer to political, local political scene, Samra Brooke. She also flipped the, um, her first go around the 55th state Senate race. And I forget who was a per, per previous senator. He's retired as well by Cameron Nail on top of my head. But credit to her as well. Also, Kevin Lee was the only county ledge legislator to have a, um, a race. He ran against a Green Party person in 25th LD, which covers part of South Wedge and the west side of the city of the 19th Ward. He won his race. Curtis to Brother Lee as well, as well. He was a friend of the 7th. While 45 was having, well, this is a Cuba called Pity Party, trying to get the state, let's say Republican states, to um, overturn the, the vote of the people, particularly our people in Michigan and Pennsylvania, Atlanta, Georgia. Finally, sleeve laws that, that was thrown out. Make look, pretty John look stupid. We've now reached the 250,000 deaths from COVID in the United States. We are now over 250,000 Americans died of COVID in the past eight or so months. A million children have this positive for the virus. One million American children. Being the children, um, we lost the daughter of Sammy Davis Jr., Tracy Davis, age 59, and Bobby Brown Jr., son of Bobby Brown. He was age 28. Our this go to both families and made, made um, Tracy and Bobby Jr., may he goes rest in peace. Another tragic incident with a child in Louisiana, crazy, horrific incident. Well, Kawan Bobby Charles, 50 year old young man. Um, somehow he ended up with a white lady and her son. The lady didn't ask his parents' permission. Whatever happened, um, I'm not sure how, um, it's like what happened, um, what happened with that, but um, young, young Kawan, also known as Bobby, went with these white people. Next thing you know, how he was found dead in the um, sugar cane field. Um, face all bruised and, and um, distorted and jaw cut open, eyes um, all messed up. Remnants of m 955. I'll put a link to the video about that. Trade incident. Um, there's a GoFundMe, GoFundMe page. 
Um, somehow the police in that community did not put Amber Alert. I don't know. And then the, the white lady in question, they can't find her. Very un um, unfortunate incident. So the school district is proposing a plan to gradually um, get young folks back in the school buildings. They're supposed to start with um, special ed students in January and gradually starting from where they'll um, allow everybody else back in building in phases done with elementary school students put in phases. Also, um, the school board has a new a member, William Clark, who's formerly with the Urban League. He replaces Nellie Shabun, who's now on the Board of Elections. City Hall, public libraries, and most city offices will be starting tomorrow. We close, we uh, have reduced hours because of the virus situation. Watch the Georgia Senate race. Got to follow the Georgia Senate race. If two Democrats win, Mr. Kyle will not be the Senate Majority Leader. Everything is running on a Georgia Senate race that's coming up in January. If you want a stimulus check, you want President Biden to get some coronavirus relief that will help the states, the counties, the cities, the school districts. You want a John Lewis Voting Rights Act? You want a George Floyd Anti Policing Act? You want some progressive legislation passed in Congress for at least the next two years? We gotta follow the Georgia race, give money to North Folks and Georgia Christians to vote in January for the two Democrats. Amen. Here's our format. We're going to welcome by National Anthem, scripture reading, news update, policy statement, announcement and thank yous. I have a really um, good announcement to show you all today. Ten of first was schedule, Psalm 23, Prayer of Hope, and this was by Minister Evans. Okay, Georgia's on my mind. So in honor of Georgia, we're gonna play Ray Charles. His version of every voice and sing. Please enjoy. The man you're about to see in here, should you be so foolish as to have just joined us, is Ray Charles. Hello, all right. Three, four. I got something young in my bones. Make me wanna shout hallelujah. And I wanna sing. Sing on. Oh, sing on. Oh, God. Woo! Oh, yeah, yeah. Lift every voice and sing. Tell us in heaven. Ring with the heart.
let us march on till victory won. God of our weary years, God of our solid tears, thou who has brought us this far. That was Lake Greenville with Charles. May rest in peace. But now your anthem. Amen. Our scripture reads from Psalm 62, verse 8, and reads as follows. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before him. God's refuse for us. Amen. May Lord bless those who read his holy word. Amen, amen, amen. News update taken from Amsterdam News. November 19th issue. Okay, it's about Detroit. Detroit was news this week because of the people that, um, the canvases in, um, that say whatever they do, whoever handles the, um, the votes. They, they didn't want to count Detroit. So majority of Black City, they didn't want to count those folks for 45. Excuse me, they didn't want to count the Black folks. For, I'm sorry, um, let me rephrase that. There was a controversy this week. Um, what, um, the, um, Michigan, um, canvassers who were, um, um, following the, um, the votes for the presidential election. They didn't want to include the black folks in Detroit who predominantly voted for Biden. Post depression after the election, 2020. That was again those folks' case. You had to back off. What are they trying to do? Anyhow, um, the articles titled Notable Port Laureate of Detroit, Naomi Law Magic, then 97. And reads as follows. Amid the illustrious woman listed on the cover of Hakimoto Booty's book, taught by women, is Naomi Long Majid. Set randomly between Asada Shakur and Audre Lorde. Majid may not have had their national recognition, but in Detroit, she was a poet laureate and nurtured, mentored, and provided a, pl a platform for numerous writers, including Mahu Booty. Majid, 92, 97. Type of, type of an article. Magic was 97 shooting answers at Friday, November 6th in Detroit, where it began endless courses of tributes to remarkable life. In the interview with the historymakers.org, Magic disclosed portions of her impressive odyssey that began July 5th, 1923, in Norfolk, Virginia. Her father was Reverend Clarence Marcellus Long, and one of the former Ma Selena Hilton. 
quote, I walk through my own shadows and like you transcend glitter, end quote. Magic wrote in Reluctant Light, a poem dedicated to her mother. I've learned that I'm source and substance of a different kind of light. This what it urges me, she said, Blossom, when she was 12, when a poem, My Choice, was published on the youth page of the Orange Daily Courier. Three years later, while they were a family in Missouri, she established a relationship with Langston Hughes. She was a crush of the Charles Summer High School in 1941. Sharing her first book of po poetry, Songs to a Phantom Nightingale, was published. During World War II, she was a student of at Virginia State University, graduated with a BA degree in 1945. I attended graduate school at New York University, she told fishmakers.org. In 1946, I married and moved to Detroit, where I worked as, a, worked as a copywriter for the Michigan Chronicle. I was also employed at Michigan Bell. According to the Poetry Foundation, the Poetry Foundation, excuse me, message joined a group of African American writers in Detroit, most notably Dudley Randall. They found a broadside press, which is now combined with Lotus Press. Her poem, Refugee, appeared in the Poetry of the Negro, 1746 to 1949. And a year later, several of her poems were featured in American literature by Negro authors. In 1955, she had earned her master's education from Western University and began teaching at Northwest High School. Meanwhile, her writing accelerated with such books as One of the Many and Star by Star in 1965. Her relationship with Hughes was commemorated with inclusion in his anthology, New Negro Poets, USA, 1964. A year later, she was a recipient of the Mott Fellowship in English. She has been included in a number of anthologies, and she even composed a student's guide to creative writing at Eastern Michigan University, where she was a faculty member, faculty member, excuse me. 2001, Mary Dennis Archer, a poet of the city's poet laureate. One of the latest poem, poems, Connected Islands, because it stands in research of concern about bonding and necessary ties between people. Quote, even separate islands are connected by some sea and we are sisters touching across the waters of, of our disparate lives, seeing our untold stories in a harmony of undulating waves. The currents of her influence and inspiration continue to resonate through the thousands she touched with her insights and vision, and certainly the vibration of her words and thoughts, having her presence in the dreams and expression of several poets who have won the Naomi Long Magic Poetry Award. I have loved you all these years without condition of return, she wrote, in one of her memorable, memorable, memorable poems. And now we conditionally return that love. So this is from Amsterdam News. Town Noel Poloria of Detroit, Numla Magic, then 97. May St. Magic rest in peace. Amen. One minute, please. Go to Boston next week. We're not a policy that have first community if it's a corporate business model. First community if it's incorporated, the spiritual and cultural organization and teaching church that promotes women of African people. We're not such an agency. No, we serve a woman agency. A person that calls 71 was in the hands of people's liberation and determination. We did a leader, the word community leader, communities of people do not follow. We support our leaders for actually attend visit programs. If you visit anyone original order ideology, our goal is to develop the knowledge of African people. Original of bigotry is not accepted. This religion is the truth. Duology is duology. 
We are brothers and servants of our people. We respond to the demands of our supporters. Our constituents say, Only our constituency has the right to make demands on us. Amen. That was our policy statement. Okay, um, yesterday, um, we received a package from the mayor's office. Mayor Lovely Warren issued a proclamation for the 50th anniversary. Our related came with a report for a re proclamation. November 18th, 2020. To the members of First Community Fitness Incorporated family, greetings. My name is Mrs. Rochester. I'd like to extend my heartfelt congratulations on our kids' 50th anniversary. I want to thank you for the many contributions and years of service you have given to our community through your hard work and good deeds over the last half century. I would also like to thank you for con continuing the legacy and teachings of your esteemed founder, Mrs. Lindsay Evans, who worked tirelessly to educate and uplift. The work you do to promote African American history and culture, as well as the assistance you provide to improve the quality of life for others, especially our youth, it's greatly appreciated. Please accept the enclosed mural proclamation as to my appreciation for your commitment to Rochester. Although this document clearly cannot pay tribute to all of the contributions the FCII has made to our city, I truly hope that it captures several of the more significant ones. May you enjoy continued success in the years to come. And may, and may your days be filled with happiness, health, prosperity, and most importantly, the love of family and friends. Again, congratulations on achieving this momentous occasion. Milestone, excuse me. Happy 50th anniversary. Sui, Mayor Lily A. Warren, Mayor of St. Rochester. Amen. Now read the proclamation. The Rochester Office of the Mayor Proclamation, whereas First Community Infants Incorporated, the Spiritual and Cultural Organization, Plus Teaching Church, that offers cultural and educational programs that benefit families, and whereas First Community Infants Incorporated is dedicated to the development of African Americans. Its purpose is to enhance the liberation and self determination of Black people. The ultimate goal of helping to build a duology for African Americans. And whereas the late Mr. Lucy Evans, 1945 to 2018, he felt the idea of duology as a teenager and founded the first community Interface incorporated on his 25th birthday, 1970, while a first year graduate student at Cookie Project Divinity School. And whereas duology is a discipline practice which teaches that positive action one's community organization is valued more than simply complaining. And whereas First Community Infants Incorporated offers African African American history, cultural and educational programs, festivals, case management, along with summer programs for youth, high school courses preparation, preparation, excuse me, job placement and tutoring services, and leadership self-esteem training, and whereas, in recognition of its 50th anniversary, First Community Infants Incorporated will host a virtual celebration honoring, me, honoring the life and legacy of Mr. Lindsay Evans Sr. and Mr. Kelly Evans and celebrating duology and its principles. Now, therefore, I, Lovely Warren, Mayor of City of Rochester, New York, to hereby proclaim November to be a time to celebrate and pay tribute to, to 50 years of service from First Community Events Incorporated in Rochester and urge all its citizens to acknowledge, for the, acknowledge the good works of the institution, of, of this institution and its founders, and, and congratulate First Community Events Institute on achieving this momentous milestone. A witness thereof, whereof, excuse me, I have hereunto set my hand on this 18th of November 
and you 2020. Sign, Mayor Lily A. Warren, Mayor Richards, New York. Thanks so much, Mayor Warren. Thank you so very, very much. Amen, amen, amen. The mayor, I sent the mayor invitation to the um to the Zoom meeting November the first. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's Shari talked to her as well. Shari's good from the mayor, so um, so so um, mayor wasn't able to attend the Zoom meeting, so but she was next to send the proclamation. I thank you very much for that as well. I'm really interested. Okay. We're still in the yellow zone to increase COVID cases and homicidations. Please be careful. This Thursday so-called um, so -called Thanksgiving. CDC and Public Health Director Dr. Mendoza are recommending people celebrate the holiday just within their, the immediate family, people in their household. They really don't want you to be trapped, do a whole lot of traveling. Having folks from coming from all, all the place congregate to your house. That's not, they don't consider that safe this time around with this virus. So if you're gonna celebrate the holiday, just have it within people within your own household. If, if you don't cook, you go to somebody's house, you're gonna stay for a few hours, wear a mask. Better yet, you go, if, you, if, you, if you don't care, you're gonna play at someone's house, someone's house, um, have them bring you a plate, or go to a person's house, take a plate to go. If you cook for a lot of people, I'll give you a place at the door or from your travel wherever. Or bring places to people. The extra food to spare. Give place someone that's that's alone, that's shut in. They may um you know anywhere else to go. It's this holiday weekend. This year, um the organizations that normally have um folks eating groups for um Thanksgiving, like the Midget House, Special Army, Open Mission, St. Peter's Church, those groups like that, not having people um, congregate and eat this year. They gave people a place to go. So you may want to do something similar. Amen. Please prepare to first fruits, quans, and daily prayers at home. This year, me and Kinara collect yours truly. I do have two Kinaras I can spare. You have to buy your own candles. You buy a candle sheet on Amazon. I'm thinking for donations and bottles this week. And once again, follow Jerry for Senate race in Georgia. Amen. I'll put links about the um, Senate race above the video. If you want, um, how about with um, this year's versus quantum um, programs, which is mostly virtual? Um, you want to contribute in some kind of way? Um, want to help with the, with the African Women's Day weekend? If you want to um, pre record some? If you want to um, give some, give, um, if you don't want to do anything, um, Personally, we want to get something for someone else to read during the, either during the virtual student advisor or setting service. It's kind of either put a bride or to short or myself. Your need is towards the flowers and boxes will be greatly appreciated. Okay, that's schedule, 10 schedule so far. Saying the six, it's Quantum Appreciation Day. There'll be a, both a virtual service and in person service. Now, and Constitution Day is um, the first public print storytelling. 
Hopefully you have saving money this month. Sorry, it's 12. Sunday 13th is African Mother's Day weekend. On Sunday 12th, we plan to have a contactless drive through floor delivery as well as shoes of mass. That's Saturday the 12th. On the 13th, there'll be a second public prayer start time. <laughs> At a 4 p.m. service, that was my first service on the 13th as well. Then December 20th, we have third public prayer and storytelling at 4 p.m. In prayer and service, that will be first service as well. Story 26th is Mimosa. I'll be doing a YouTube live at 6 p.m. So subscribe to the channel, hit the red button. Bell on the bottom of the video to get notifications. Same 27, the Kuli Shakalia, the virtual service, 4 p.m. starts recording for the son, Brother Brian. They'll, they'll combine Kuli Shakalia and Ujima. Monday 28th, the YouTube Live, 6 p.m., that'll be coordinating. 29th, Ujama, same thing for YouTube Live, 6 p.m. Some third of Nia, YouTube Live, 6 p.m. There is some, some 31st. We'll close out our year. So just start recording that. Kumba, any money combined, and she'll probably do a swimming with that. That is our schedule. If any questions, please contact any one of us. To accommodate for physical distancing, 24 p.m. services will not have will not have kind of blowing and hand holding. Amen. That will not be safe to do this year. Psalm 23. Lord my shepherd, I shall not want. Let me lie down in green pastures. Please decide to the waters. He restores my soul. Leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll feel no evil. If you are with me, you draw on your staff to comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You know my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All this is my life. I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. May the Lord bless those holy word. Amen, amen, amen. The archive was from Ms. Evans will have prayer of hope. Prayer of hope, 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 prayer of hope. This is a prayer of hope. Creator, may I talk with you? Leave your positive leadership is our prayer of hope. This is our prayer of hope. To make us feel that a person is gone, the sight is not in the midst of chaos and conflict. This is our prayer of hope. No, because of you, Senior Sierra, Senior House here ourselves. There's need for more positive leadership. This is our prayer of hope. This is the truth laying away. This is our prayer of hope. The problems of propaganda of the human relations is close to many of us. Too many of us to talk instead of thinking about the changes that are taking place. This is our prayer of hope. Lord, the same thing of oppression. We tell you to take class citizenship yesterday to restructure itself to new form of mechanism. Namely, the perpetuation of British black people to accept oppression, brutality, and single class citizenship in the name of reconciliation. This is a prayer of hope. We know because of you, so now we see ourselves. There's need for more positive leadership. This is a prayer of hope. This is our this is a true light in the way. This is a prayer of hope. 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 This is our prayer of hope. Amen. Poem by Ms. Evans. May rest in peace. Because I'm singing this version to a song way back when. Amen.
we will now have part two of Ms. Evans' lesson from 1994. My holidays, W, part two. Enjoy a minute, please. Statements, they make statements that have occurred before, as I said, they have not been. 
Asian brown, black. Not black enough. He said, well, I didn't need you. Well, when were you not in need? You say, I want When you didn't want You come here and the baby didn't even want it. In fact, you're better off when you're a baby, because at least you know what you, what you want. You know that you, you know what you need. You know you need some milk to eat. You need a place to lay down. You need to change. Now you think you need a gold chain around your neck. Right. If you don't have that, you're unhappy. In fact, you need a divorce for not having a gold chain around your neck. Yes, sir. You're very unhappy. Or maybe you are the faithful house nigga that can be counted on to find that other folks' institutions, other folks' community. Maybe you are that house nigga that died faithfully for your master. Maybe you're that house nigga who continue to talk about when I'm going to, when I go to heaven, I'm going to drink white milk and eat, eat my white honey. But <laughs> you have not already eaten your white honey. <laughs> Maybe you're that house nigga that died Thank you. 
she dropped some pennies on the ground and she walked past. And I said, ma'am, you dropped your pennies. She said, yes, pennies. She <laughs> said, not important. She said, yes, pennies. I said, ma'am, excuse me, where do you walk? I don't have a job. Uh, what, well, how can you know, just put the pennies out of the house? I don't need those damn pennies.
one week, uh, I try to stop um, these people with dental fever.
turn around, yelling and screaming about another car. He's name, cussing about another. And another person came. Another person came and standing there with that. Everybody else, everybody else got, he got, got told off or got, what he say? Uh, what do you call him? You ripped somebody? <laughs> Sounds like he's screaming somebody. And he enjoyed it making a scream. <laughs> he enjoyed it. He's a mom, folks screaming on one another. He said they could enjoy everything. And so going about his business, he didn't do it. And then they turned on him. And I said, don't you know who that brother and little fellow would flock together? All right. Mm -hmm. John 13, verse 35. All right. A new commandment I give unto you, mm -hmm. that you, that you love one another as I love you. Mm -hmm. But also we love one another. Teach us. Love one another. You know, many of us don't know what the hell love is. Yeah, sure. Many of us don't know what that's it. Yeah. Many of us don't know what that's it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, money is based on faith and based on love. <laughs> you know, many people don't understand that. The reason why we always say that God and time and people and then money right. comes because indeed that's important. But many people put money in the wrong perspective. They say, well, my problem is that if I just have more money, I'd be all right. And so they work one job and two jobs and three jobs and four jobs. Yeah. They have the same problem. They say, well, if I come with money, I'd be all right. They come with money and they get more than they were better. Mm -hmm. They say if, if I saw if I just get a just a dime more, I'd be all right. Yeah. And so they go and sell their body for some money, and then the next they sell they sell their body just for dope. And next they sell their body just to stay alive. Mm -hmm. You know, we, nothing wrong with money is that we don't know what money is for. Yeah. We have no idea about money and the importance of money. We put money ahead of people. We do all kinds of things just to get money, but we don't know what the hell we're doing or what we're getting because we don't know how powerful money is. Money is powerful. Money is only a meaning of exchange. As I told you last time, we talk to you about money. They use you to get what they want to get. Money is powerful. You want money. Some of you still want money. Proverbs 17, 22. A merry heart. That's good. Like a medicine. All right. But a broken spirit right off the bone. Yes, if you have inside you that peace that's inside you or happy, you are you have a peace within you that makes you happy. Yes. You have that, you, then you know what, what you know what makes you happy. You have an idea of what you need. You understand that money is only a mean of change, and so that's all it is. It's no more than that. That's right. And so you know that. In order to understand and be happy, you do what the other way. You have to do it. You have to treat people. That's right. You see, many people, many homes are broken up. Right. Now, here's a reason. And one reason. They don't understand what love is. Yes, sir. No one taught them that. One young man who said, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to marry me a wealthy woman. And so he went and sat and sat. See, what time you ask for something, you get what you ask for. Right. And he shot and he shot and shot and he shot. And he found a woman that had money and everything he needed, and he married her. So two years later, he was sad. That's what's the matter. Why are you so sad? You married his soul, so you should be happy. I love it. She said, she, she's always telling me that I'm married for money. Yeah. I said, it's true. That was um, Ms. Evans' speech from 1994. That's all for you. Sorry, Money and How This All For You by Ms. Evans. Very timely speech. Very, very timely speech from 1994. Still applicable in 2020. Amen. That concludes Student Dog Jarrah for Sunday, November 22nd, 2020.
Please be very careful. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wear a mask, wear a mask, wear a mask. We're going to do this weekend. Please be careful. Thank all those who check on me during the week. Please continue to check on me. As we get ready to plan for first fruits and quantum, unfortunately, it's not. We can not be able to do it the way we would like to, but this is what it is. Hopefully, next year we can all be together. So bring fresh with some quantum. Hopefully. There's lighting in the tunnel. Vice is supposed to be coming down the pike. So hopefully we can get us pretty soon. So we can all be together once again. Pretty soon. Tutor in. Friday night class. You know that once. Get with this pandemic. I love you all. Have a safe day this week. Kind of ever. Have a good day. God bless you all. Peace out.